All right. I am sick and tired of your excuses and your feeling like everything's got to be perfect for you to be motivated. So this is going to be a rant. While the masses spend their days dominated by doubt, distraction, and dead ends, the masters go through their day on fire. My friend, welcome to the fire zone. Hey there, it is your coach, Kevin Ray Ward with fire today with a fire zone message that is designed to wake you the fuck up and to get you to show the fuck up and lead. So I got this message posted in one of our coaching platforms about a deal that is not going great. It was going great. Got a listing, got it under contract, multiple offers, everything's looking great. And then there's a problem with it. It's like, oh no. Got some issues, got to be resolved, could be big. What do I do? Because since then, I'm having a hard time pushing myself to prospect. Now, first question, what the hell does the fact you're having a deal that has some problems going on with it, what does that have to do with prospecting or not prospecting? Well, I know things can happen, but any ideas how to move beyond this and motivate myself to prospect? Well, yes, grow up. Okay, step number one, grow up. You're an adult. Since when did having a problem in one area of your life allow you to be irresponsible and flush your dreams and your responsibility? Because it's just taken me, it's just taken the wind out of my sails. It's made me feel so bad. My friends, stop allowing your feelings to fuck up your dreams. How do you motivate yourself? But do what you're supposed to do. It's called responsibility. It is called commitment. It is called your dreams. You have a dream, and just because you have a problem going with the transaction, all of a sudden your dreams don't matter. Your family doesn't matter. Taking care of your family, providing for your family does not matter. Doing the work is part of the game, and it doesn't matter how you feel, and it does not matter when things aren't going right. You, When you aren't in, in an entrepreneurial game, things are going to not go right. Welcome to real estate. Welcome to real life. Welcome to reality. If you're wanting everything to go perfect, my friend, go work at McDonald's, go work at Starbucks, go work at Home Depot. But it's not going to go perfect there either because life isn't perfect. And so there's going to be setbacks, there's going to be challenges that's just going to happen. So what do you do? You get over it. You do your shit when you don't feel like doing it and stop following your feelings. And you've got, and, and guys right now, I am not mad at you. Okay. I'm not mad at this person. I am mad for you. I'm mad with you. you you got to start reacting to your own bullshit. And whenever I start feeling sorry for myself and start allowing a feeling to start dictating what I'm going to do, is you need to get pissed off and go like, oh, I'm feeling sad. Well, fuck that. I need to get pissed off at my sadness and go like, okay, what do I need to do? Well, one, I need to do whatever I can do to fix the deal. Number two, I got to get on the phone and prospect. I got to do what I'm supposed to do. I got to be responsible. And here's what happens when you do that. Go intense on the prospecting. And so, you know what? This listing may fall out. I'm going to get three listings to replace it. Three listings this week. What do I have to do? Four hours a day prospecting. Then I'm going to fucking do it because I don't ever want to be in a place where having a deal on the rocks ruins my day. I'm going to do everything I can for my clients. I'm going to serve them. If they get pissed off at it, I'm going to tell them the truth and I'm going to do what I can to help them and tell them they got to do what they got to do and you got to get over it. Stop letting emotions control you and then looking for this motivation shit. Here's how you get motivation. Get on the phone and prospect three hours or four hours every day and when you're done with that, you will feel so fucking powerful because you're going to start getting things happening and you're going to start getting more confident. You're going to start getting more powerful and you're going to just develop this resilience and strength that comes through the work. There is no shortcut for the work. You cannot find a feeling that is going to carry you through all the ups and downs. It's not going to happen. But what will carry you through the ups and downs is you being responsible, is you keeping your commitments. And so you grow, you get stronger. So it's like, I don't feel like it. I don't do things that I do every day based on how I feel. That is the path to losing. That is the path to failure. The path to winning is you do what you got to do. And when adversity comes, you rise. When the enemy shows up bigger, you got to get tougher and you got to go to war hard or they're going. The, the enemy will destroy you. It will destroy your business. So right now, the discouragement, disappointment or whatever it is you're feeling, that is the enemy attacking you and telling you you're not worthy and you're not going to. And it's just trying to get you to retreat. You retreat, you lose. The only way you win 
is to rise up and attack it and say, no, motherfucker, you are not taking me down. You are not taking me out. Watch this. And then you rise and you go to war. You go to work against that emotion and you get out there and you move yourself. That, my friend, is the motivation that you need. Three, two, one. Off you go. You've been listening to another Yes Masters Fire Zone video, a story or a strategy designed to help you go into the day with the fire to stay focused and productive and to get more done every day. If you want more motivation, strategy, and support to grow your business on a daily basis, join our Yes Masters community at yesmasters.com and fan the flames of your success today.